Welcome back, sci-fi fans. This is Greg from Greg Review Sci-Fi. And I have an oldie, but a goodie today. Today, we're going to review Larry Niven's Ringworld. And, uh, and, and I know, it's, it's in paper. Like, actual paper. Not only is it an oldie, but a goodie book, but it's in an oldie and a goodie format. Perhaps the most extraordinary idea for what the rings could be comes from the realm of science fiction. The concept of a giant ring-shaped world surrounding a star was first proposed by novelist Larry Niven. One of the reasons I started Greg Review Sci-Fi was to review books. I just read so many amazing books, I thought it would be really nice to, to share it with you, the audience. And Ringworld, you know, I've actually bought this book twice. So I bought this on accident, honestly, and it came paperback. And I thought, oh, well, this is great. I'll try to read it. Oh, that was like five or six years ago. And, and I, just, I just don't read paperback books. I don't read paper books, paperback, hardback any kind of any kind of uh any kind of paper and uh you know the reason is is it's just you know i read mostly at night before i go to bed and uh it's just to uh you know you need a book light and you know you gotta like you know you're holding the paper down and you're trying to like look over your pillow and you know it's just just uh just a hassle so I bought it again for the Kindle, which is great. Now, Ringworld, you know, it's been around for a long time. So why did I pick to review this? Well, I've been into sci-fi for, for a very long time, and I've never went back to read any of the classic books, like the sci you know, the science fiction genre-defining books. And I feel like Ringworld is one of those. Um, so, so I, you know, I spent some time and, and, and read this book and it, man, I read it fast, like really fast. I, I enjoyed this book. I understand now why it's kind of a, a phenomenon in science fiction and, uh, it, it did a lot of the things that, that I always wish books would do invent technology, be original. Um, you know, it's easy to say be original, but, but really think through the world building aspect of your book. You don't have to dis you don't have to build the entire world, but make sure as, as we read different books or, or, or things just kind of make sense. Like we can leap to the conclusion that, Oh, I, I, okay, I can understand, like, this, you know, in Ringworld, it, it was easy, right? It was the ring, right? It's made of a, you know, a neutron star or neutron type of, of, of alloy, right? It wasn't, you know, completely dense like a neutron star, but it was, I think they said something like 40%, which is really dense. It was the flying buildings, right? You could, you didn't really tell you how it, how it, how it did it but you accepted that if a culture can build a ring that they can float buildings um you know you solve problems with you know spacecraft launching and things like that with with you know nothing like you, you don't sometimes i think even in the future they'll solve simple problems with simple answers right so like in ring world's case they launched spacecraft just by you know essentially pitching them out the edge and the ring is spinning and you know the air you know the spacecraft goes off and the ring continues on you know he had to create a mechanism in order for spacecraft to land which totally makes sense that's the kind of that's the kind of detail like the you know the 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 minute you know, attention to detail that makes these books such a phenomenon. Now, I'm not going to pretend 
this was the greatest book I've ever read because it has, it's not, um, you know, I've read newer books that I think are better. Uh, does some of the, some of the, the writing style and the cultural views are a little outdated by modern standards. You know, it, it, it holds up, but it doesn't hold up a hundred percent. So let's get down to the review. So for story, I need my little cheat sheet here, as you can see. So for story, I gave it four and a half stars. The story was, it was great, right? It was well, was well thought through. You know, it made sense why they got abandoned there. It wasn't like, um, you know, it wasn't implausible that such an advanced people would get stuck on the ring. It, it, it was really well done. The characters, I also gave a four and a half stars. There was an alien. Uh, you know, there was Tila Brown, which is the, you know, she had amazingly good luck. You know, it was just, it was, it was, the characters were, were well written, you know, well rounded. I mean, they even, they call the alien a Pearson's puppeteer, you know, just one of them. I'm not going to spoil the whole book for you, but you know, that tells, that even tells me it's, you know, it's something us humans would call an alien, you know, that, that we, we didn't under, couldn't understand the, the language. We didn't know what they call themselves. It just makes sense. You can leap to, you don't have to go. Okay. Well, and even in the book, you know, it's, it's, they speculate, you know, maybe this is why they're called Pearson's Pu Puppeteer. Uh, the pace, I gave it four stars. It, it was a little slow from time to time. There were some weird parts in it that I think uh, I, I didn't love, but, but you know, four stars is still really good. So for originality and technology, for originality and technology, I gave it five stars each. That That's... For, for me to give those two categories five stars for a book, it's pretty amazing. Now this book is old, right? So you could, it, you know, I'm, I'm giving it a little bit of extra credit in this department because I don't know who invented the ring world concept. You know, I know the Dyson sphere was not invented in books and, you know, and I know, you know, Ian Banks, uh, you know, wrote about it in the culture series, which I haven't read yet. Uh, but it's on the list. So, so I give original, I'll give it to him, right? I'll give Larry Niven the benefit of the doubt that, that, uh, that if he didn't invent this, that it wasn't well known at the time. So if you know who invented it, uh, comment down below, I would really appreciate, I'd love links and, 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 you know, I always try to build up my knowledge of science fiction anywhere I can, because it relates to other stories and other reviews. So, you know, if you haven't read it, I think this is a must read. Uh, it, it just makes science fiction so much more enjoyable when you read some of the things, some of the books and, and see some of the old movies from, you know, that, that, that um, contributed to modern books and modern movies and modern TV. So, you know, I, you should definitely pick it up. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe if you, uh, you know, share it with your friends, share it on Facebook. Check out my Dr. Strange t-shirt. I'll put a link to that in the description so you can buy that if you like it. Obviously, you know I'm t-shirt crazy, so I'll have all sorts of cool t-shirts, and I'll tell you where I got them and give you a link and all that. If, if, if you like them, you can get them for yourself. And Please leave a comment. Tell me what you think of the review. Tell me what you think of Ringworld. Tell me what you think of Larry Niven. Tell me what you think about the world. And I'll talk to you later.